Hey everybody, welcome into the channel. I'm Ashley with I Am Bio Zella Bella. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you guys for coming back if you're returning, okay? You guys, um, today I want to talk to you about the energy um, based off the movie Crooklyn, okay? That's why I got this message, all right? And so basically, life is about to get really sweet. See, before turning on this camera, Spirit gave me this um, a recollection, okay, of a memory, all right? Let me tune and tap into the ancestors and then I'll tell you about it, okay? All beings of the greatest, highest, white light, most high, holy angels, holy ancestors, holy father, show us clearly spirit what it is we need to hear and see for this reading. Um, those of you that are new may not know, um, I, I'm going back and forth. I'm kind of moved by the spirit. Whenever spirit says to pull a deck, I'll pull it. If not, I'm just going to speak with you um, through my intuitive abilities, um, through the messages I'm going to get from above, okay? Um, I meditated on this energy um, some time ago, and spirit told me that things were about to get easier, okay and if you've seen Crooklyn you know there's a theme song in the movie and uh, I believe it's the theme song for the movie um, if I'm not mistaken although I could be there anyway the lyrics say something like oh child things are going to get easier oh child things are gonna get brighter something like that so basically like things are going to start to feel lighter within your heart space okay there's something within your root okay um, and your sacral I'm sorry your sacral chakra, yes, your root and your sacral chakra. There could have been something going on in that area, okay, um, where spirit is coming through and now cleansing that space. Um, tell you kind of a little story before I go into the initial one about why spirit told me or what spirit told me before turning on this camera. So basically, okay, um, the pool in my area where I live is now clean all of a sudden this morning after the past two weeks or week and a half or so, I'll say, of it being um, really disgusting, okay? It looked like toilet water after someone took a number two, maybe six times, okay? Um, and so <laughs> I'm seeing the number 79, all right? That could be significant for someone. Uh, but basically, um, the pool now is clean. And that's very synchronistic because during that time of the pool being dirty, um, I was under um, a lot of, I'm feeling surveillance is what I heard just now. So <laughs> maybe we've been watched, okay? We've been watched um, at this time. We've been watched by the watchers, all right? This is true. This is very true indeed. We have been watched by the watchers, okay? Those that revealed the truths of time is what I'm hearing okay so if the watchers revealed the truths of time and time we associate with father time then basically the watchers reveal God's truth so that being said there is the energy okay that we're going to be experiencing of Pisces love okay the energy of the fish you have successfully, I'm also hearing the Lilith, you have successfully completed the assignment and mastered the phase, this first phase of the cycle, okay? So there's another cycle coming. I'm going to be speaking actually soon. I have notes. I may have done this reading already. I really can't remember. Um, anyway, uh, the reading is either was or is going to be about uh, the cycles that this new phase we're going to be experiencing. I was saying one of 12 was complete. Well, that was the one of the 12 cycles that's been complete. Now there's 12 more to go. I feel like that at, the, at this time, if you're resonating with this energy so far or it's intriguing you or at least piquing your interest in some form or fashion, then um, you're going to be going through what's called a renewal phase okay you're going to be experiencing a very transformational time this time in essence is going to grow you this time in essence is going to transmute your energy the energies you as well will learn how to transmute these energies okay by way of trial and error you see spirit is going to put you I'm seeing the number 21 spirit is going to put you in a situation I'm hearing several situations okay um, where you are going to experience different experiences 
and spirit i keep hearing trials and tribulations and spirit is i'm wanting to say they're trials right spirit they're trials and tribulations the spirit is like no these are not trials and tribulations unless you look at them that way okay um these are going to be experiences that are going to grow you <laughs> it matters the way you perceive your challenges your obstacles it matters the energy that you put into what's involved and the energy and efforts it takes to grow something it all matters spirit is saying they all go together it all streams it all goes together like a stream it flows together like a stream you know all streams lead to the river all rivers lead to a ocean all small bodies of water all lead to big bodies of water. The relevance in that is that you are a large body of water. <laughs> You're about to overflow and overtake the lakes, the rivers, and the streams. It's like this ocean energy is about to push on to the land it's going in reverse the tides are changing the energy is going in reverse for you that means prosperity lies ahead because everything that they took from you every morsel morsel <laughs> Grat, granial. It's going to be returned to you. Confirmation with the horn. It's like Pisces, the love energy is taking over. I'm hearing payout. I'm also hearing signs sealed delivered. I'm yours. Mm. Because Ra gave me his heart. So the point is. Got him. <laughs> Got him. I don't know. That's what I'm hearing. Got him. Love wins. Love wins. Love is the master of all things. Love is the deceiver of all things as well. But in your case, love has renewed your strength. Love has allowed you to blossom and grow and feather and bloom and sprout and shine and pour and deliver and receive and give and repeat. I'm hearing and in that order. I'm seeing a I'm seeing corn, corn on the cob. Oh, I'm seeing it done the way I like it. Y'all know, y'all ever had that corn? <laughs> What is it called, Spirit? It's Mexican corn, okay? But it's like, it's street corn is what it's called. Street corn, y'all. Oh, with that Mexican cheese on it. Chile, whatever that is. Mm. 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 Y'all, that stuff be so good. Little, little, uh, little, uh, uh parsley, you know? Y'all get mine from Chili's. It's so good. Oh my goodness, it be so good. You have it all wrapped in the foil. Huh, somebody got some corn come, coming to them. I did a reading talking about the corn or a post. Y'all, corn represents good things. Good things. Harvest, fertility, wealth, prosperity, abundance, health. Someone with a food truck could resonate. Someone with a black truck. 
with rims, silver rims, a white SUV, a black car, a blue car, a white SUV, a silver car, a black SUV, if I haven't said that already, if I did, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, the things are about to change in your life. I think that's all that I have at this moment. I feel like that was really short, but deep. Like, I went somewhere, y'all, for that reason. You guys have some communication coming in, okay? Yeah, you have some communication coming in. Let's, I don't, we don't want to, no, mm, let's see what we see in the high biscuits. How about that? Y'all want to see this in the high biscuits? Since I got time, I got time today, okay? I got time today. Yeah, there she goes. She back, she back. <laughs> soon, collective, soon and very soon, you're going to feel like you can fly. <laughs> Cause there's a locksmith you know the locksmith okay you know the locksmith collector mm. that's a good thing to know the locksmith you hate to get stuck out in your car get your keys locked in your car you can't get in your car okay that's not okay all right somebody could have tried to lock you out of something all right but you know the locksmith okay i'm hearing do you know the muffin man all right <laughs> Someone with a red car <laughs> could resonate with that reading. <laughs> Purple shirt. Silver truck. I don't know. That truck might. Silver truck. We're going to leave it there. <laughs> that truck looked kind of dirty, though. That was funny. All right. Someone with a black SUV. I said that. Okay. A gold SUV. Gold truck. Okay. Blue SUV. All right, hibiscus, what message do you have for my viewers? Thank you. Show us clearly. For the viewers watching this reading, there's some grasshopper. Grasshopper? You have an offer coming in. You have an offer coming in, viewers. 1242 on the clock as I said that. Ooh, my nose is itching. Okay. Uh, what I was trying to say, well, is there is grasshopper energy here. Let me see what the grasshopper energy is. Grasshopper spirit. Let's check and see what that is about. So the grasshopper spirit says, take a leap of faith. It says right now you are poised to jump up into the next level of your life and move forward into something even better than you could have ever imagined. When grasshopper spirit appears, it is a fortuitous time to take a leap into the unknown. Aries energy here. Okay, Aries, come through. Uh, for the grasshopper spirit represents the innovative spirit that says, why not? And has the faith or has faith in the powers of co-creation. You are being called to trust that this is the right time to go with the or with that idea, relationship, or situation. Take uh, take risk for abundance in all forms will show up for you. It says round or mm, sorry, <laughs> I can't read today. Wondrous things await when grasshopper spirit appears. You are not going to go backward. You are not going to go backward. So listen to your intuition rather than your fearful ego that resists any change and clings worriedly to what was. Luck is on your side. Jump up and forward with confidence for spirit has so much in store for you if only you take that leap okay so spirit is asking you to take a leap
there's a heavy emphasis of the number three in your reading okay being in alignment i feel like spirit is asking you to 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 leap Let's see what the wisdom of the oracle says. Yeah, you're at a fork in the road. The spirit is asking you to leap. Exchange gifts. Spirit wants you open. 15, 17 on the clock. It's trying to award you some form of justice or abundance, but you're needing to be open in order to be able to receive this. Why are you not being... What has you not... Op what could have my viewer not open? What could have my viewer not open? Or what has? What has my viewer not open? All right, let's see. Because you're at this fork in the road. So you have a decision to make. Why is my viewer not open? Fear. Illusions. Fear of deception. Fear of loss. Is fear so okay viewer this is what you're needing to do you need to tap in and ask yourself what part of yourself is afraid why you're afraid is it is it even real what you're afraid of okay um, and you need to give yourself some comfort okay you need to give yourself some comfort once you do this you'll feel better Okay, you feel a sense of peace, a sense of nourishment. You won't feel like you're lacking anything. Therefore, you'll be open to trust, open to communicate. I feel like whatever it is you're going up against, go, in, go into it without the expectation. Just go in it with love. Whatever it is, just go into it with the idea and the notion of love okay release the fear so we have the full moon coming up this could be that energy where spirit is calling for you to release the fear at this time okay we have flexible here this is hangman energy this is the energy of pisces something has you hung up but it's because there's something that needs to end we have a leg up at the bottom of the deck Spirit's trying to give you this leg up, but you got to let go of fear and be willing to work. Be willing to come into this alignment. One second, y'all, because I'm trying to see exactly what this is giving me. 10.19 on the clock. Something's about to end. The ending of what's about to end, it's going to free you from strife. The clearing of what's about to end is going to free you from strife. See, you know what it is that you are trying to bring in for yourself, viewer. So you have to be sure you are, you're doing, that's why you're doing what you're doing. You're doing everything you're doing by the book because you know what you're trying to bring in for yourself. But there's this fork in the road. And there's a change in the wind. Deep knowing here. Angel number 43. You already know that something's divinely guided. Yeah. Higher power here. Okay. There's something. Yeah. Little heart. There's something. There's something that, that's coming in for you. Okay. They're going by the book. This person's going by the book. Okay. So um, keep striving. Keep going. Take this leap. Maybe it's your person. I don't know. You're going to have to take it as it resonates. I got to go see who's at my door. I'm so sorry to cut your reading short, but have a good day. Okay. Truth be told, there's justice coming in for you. Milk and honey. Okay. You got it. You got it. I feel like it's going to be Aries reading. Aries, this is a story of someone returning back to their love. 
returning back to your love. I see it. Okay. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. Have the confidence and faith you need to endure. Goodbye.